I was born in Moscow. But I remember nothing of that time. I was just an infant when the old world was destroyed in the flames of nuclear fire. I, along with 40,000 others, were saved by retreating to the metro stations deep under the city. Now, 20 years have passed, and going up into the embrace of an endless winter was left to a few brave souls. The metro was our home, and our fortress against the nightmarish mutants who roamed the tunnels. Still, we never gave up hope that we would return to the surface. But one day, a new threat appeared, and we found ourselves in a war to determine the very existence of our species. Hey everyone, it's Wellens, and welcome to Metro 2033 Redux. That intro cutscene there gave us a little taste of what this game is about. Basically, the year is 2033, and 20 years ago, in 2013, the world was destroyed by an apocalyptic event, some sort of nuclear war, I think? And because of the radiation and stuff on the surface, everybody is now living underground in Moscow. Oh, well, I guess everybody near Moscow is living underground near Moscow, and that's how we begin here. Uh, this game comes up in some recommendations from you guys sometimes, and I actually took it to a Patreon poll a few months ago, and it was one of the winners, so that's my, that's my Patreon plug for the video. <laughs> we will be playing the Redux version today, and this version has updated graphics and miscellaneous gameplay changes, I believe. I'm not too sure what the full list of changes is, but I've actually played the old version before, a long, long time ago. It was back when THQ first went under, they went bankrupt, and they were giving away this game for free by the boatload, which happened in about 2013, I think. So that's really quite a while ago, and I really don't remember too much about this game anymore. But if you know anything about me, you know that I'm a huge fan of survival horror games. So when I played the old version back then, oh my god, I don't even know how to... <laughs> I was basically scared out of my mind the entire time, and I skipped all the optional areas, played like 10 minutes a day, it was... It was pretty ridiculous, and not something that I would call a proper experience, which is something I'm hoping we can get this time, now that it's been a while, and I'm not as a... not as much of a scaredy cat anymore, maybe... maybe... But yeah, I never ended up going to play the sequel back then because my computer wasn't good enough. With Metro Exodus coming out next year, figured it's a good time for me to get back into the series here. I did read a little bit of the first book, I think maybe about the first three or four chapters. Didn't get around to finishing it, although I do intend to get back to it sooner rather than later. Yeah, so that's the kind of background that I'm coming into this game from, and why don't we just begin? Choose your playstyle, survival or spartan. <laughs> With ammo and filters in short supply, deadlier combat and more challenging stealth, survival style offers players the original survival horror-oriented experience of Metro 2033. With an emphasis on resource management and tense combat versus spartan, the more forgiving combat and stealth experience of Metro Last Light. Oh, well I haven't played it, so I don't know what that means. When spartan style is selected, Perfect for players who like faster-paced, more action-oriented gameplay. Ammo, filters, and other resources are also more plentiful. Uh, this was not in the original, so I have no idea what this means. But it says that this one is closer to the original experience, so I guess I'll choose this one. This one seems harder, though. <laughs> oh well. Normal, Hardcore, Ranger, Ranger Hardcore. Yeah, I think the Metro series is actually known for the Ranger difficulty, because unlike a lot of other games, where 
Higher difficulty basically just means increasing the health of your enemies. In Metro, it's a little bit different. It actually makes it so that everyone can die more easily, both you and the enemy, which is not what we're after today, so I think normal should be fine. Recommended for regular FPS players. You will need to closely watch your ammo and filter supplies and approach every combat scenario with extreme caution. Okay, got it. I think we should be okay here. The tunnel grew colder. Miller and I were close to the surface now. Soon, we would climb up into the howling wind to fight our way through whatever nightmares were waiting there. My long journey was nearly at the end. But would I have the courage, the will to see it through? So we're actually not starting at the very beginning, but nearer to the end here. Hey, Artyom. When you left your home station, do you ever think we'll end up in a place like this? Not knowing whether we were about to save our world, or send it straight to hell. White guy! Oh! Ooh. We'll have to get through the military outpost to reach the surface, Artyom. Tick, tick, tick. Something's moving in the next room. Open the gate, I'll cover. Alright. Shit is always breaking down in here. Use the auxiliary hand system to open the gate. Here. Let's go. <gasps> Check those crates for ammo and med packs. Oh, maybe we shouldn't have pressed that. Okay. Which crates? Ooh. Here. Equipment. Ammo. Tomb. Follow me. Hold on. There's still some ammo here, isn't there? Mm-hmm. I guess that's that's that. No ammo in the back. Oh. O okay. Lights, lights. Good, good. What about this door? Oh. Well, I've I've never seen this before. What is this? I don't think we want that. Why would we want all the lights off? Some generators? Do the lights being off have some repercussion? I don't know actually. Okay, well, without knowing too much, I guess we'll keep it on for now. Okay. Up we go. Well, there's some radio sounds here. The stuff in this building still works. Surprisingly. Mm -hmm. Seems like nobody's home. Before we hit the surface, put your gas mask on. Without like a goldfish outside his room. Mm. I'm almost there. This is the Karolyov performance room. It's really close to the tower. Yes, so now we're on the surface. We can't live for long without our gas mask. Because of stuff like radiation. Loading weapon! Loaded! It's okay. Here they come. Oh, I'm gonna stick next to you! Oh. More! There's more! Oh, reloading takes a while here. 
Oh, reloading takes a while, definitely. We gotta plan carefully. Holy god. Oh! Oh my gosh. We've gotta be able to reload faster. Like, look at that flying creature. It doesn't even look like something from our world. Okay, give me a second. Just let me make sure. We have the supplies here and all. <laughs> oh, if you look at that. Supplies. Oh. Yeah, that's not... That's definitely not normal. No. Things on the surface have mutated. Something, something, radiation. Ready? Not really, but okay. Yeah. Uh. We're fine. We're fine. Let's move on. The gas mask. We're limited on time here. To swap a filter. Oh! I can't move. Glad to see you, Colonel. Did you hear that? Listen. What the hell is it? Uh oh. Bad things are coming. Hey, how often do I have to switch filters? I got no clue. Oh. When did we open fire? Coming close. Ow! So much for firing on my mark. Oh! Oh gosh! Oh, I don't have any ammo. I don't have any ammo on me! Damn it! Yeah, those are not normal animals, are they? They do look like demons. Life was never easy in the tunnels, but it was our home. There was comfort in its routines, in seeing the same people day after day. But since the mutant attacks had escalated, fear ruled the station. I had just turned 20 and could never have imagined what would follow on the morning that my stepfather's friend Hunter arrived at the barricade. Eight days earlier, we were going up to the surface just now, but eight days earlier, we were still living in the tunnels.
Artyom. <laughs> Wake at last, I see. Hunter's on his way in. He should have news from the other stations. Come on. Hunter. My stepfather's friend. So if I'm 20, and it's currently 2033, and the apocalyptic event happened in 2013, I was actually born the year when all this went down, which means I don't have a very good recollection of what the outside world looks like. And these... These photos are basically the only way I would know what it actually is like. I want to believe. Metro2035.com! Is that an ad for the new novel? <laughs> I don't think it's new anymore. No. Got a guitar, some books. <laughs> Very cheeky Metro2034 novel right here. That person at the door just now was Artyom's stepfather, I believe. And if I remember right, because I don't think they ever mention it in the games, only the novels. This guy is Artyom's stepfather, not because his mother remarried or anything like that, but they were initially from the same home station, which unfortunately got run over by a rat infestation, I think. And pretty much every person died. And as the guy was leaving, Artyom's real mother basically just handed him the baby, being like, please, please save my son. I know I can't make it out of here, but you can, so can you just please take the baby with you? And that's how our relationship came to be. Let's go, Archie. Yeah, we're not living in the... under very nice conditions right now. It's cold down here, isn't it? The station can't survive much longer if these attacks don't stop. We must do something. What more can we do? Locked. Definitely our living conditions are very, very cramped. And not very sanitary. The Dark Ones will kill us all. The Dark Ones. Hello. Another patrol was attacked last night. The hospital's full. Mmm. Even within the tunnels, we get attacked by the dark ones. Mommy, do we need to wait? Let's go. He was at the outpost. I don't know what this says, but we just have to hope. No visitors. My brother is in the hospital. Oh, that's you. I cut in line. Come on, Alex. Hello, Artyom. The situation's under control. How are the wounded? Uh, not much improvement. Two died this morning. The Dark Ones do not kill outright. But they damage a victim's mind. Sooner or later, this leads to death. Give me a second. Just wanted to look at this. Note 1. Day after day. Oh, were there any in the tower that I didn't get? Our patrols go out to the northern tunnels, and day after day, they return bearing casualties. Murdered brutally, inexplicably so. Even more casualties come back alive, but insane. And yet, it's only by sending our friends, neighbors, and relatives out there that we can keep the Dark Ones at a distance. When we run out of manpower to stop their attacks far enough, when they arrive at the station itself, we'll be done for. I hear people talking secretly at the station that it's just us prolonging the agony, but there's no hope for salvation. But Sukhoi, my stepfather, and the head of the station still hopes for a miracle. He insists that an old friend of his, Hunter, can save us. Hunter is a member of the Spartan Order, a battle brotherhood sworn to protecting the Metro from any and all dangers. There is nothing capable of instilling fear into the hearts of these men. At least there was nothing, until the Dark Ones arrived. Hmm, so these Dark Ones are a new developing problem that we're experiencing at the, the various stations here. God, when will this ever end? I can't take it anymore. Wait, hold on, Dad! Everyone's dying. Oh. 
Yeah, it's definitely not looking good here. What the hell? Who could that be? It's Hunter. Mutants don't knock first. Open the damn gate. Welcome to Exhibition Hunter. Thanks. Now close your kit. It's been a long time, Hunter. Good to see you, Alex. Hello, Artyom. So, Hunter, what's happening in the outside world these days? Not much. Most of what I hear is about Exhibition and the undead infesting your tunnels. <laughs> Artyom, I met a trader selling old postcards of New York City. I thought of your wall. Thank you. Oh, I've been collecting these. These are not the usual mutant <laughs> creatures. This is something else. What the hell? Something much worse. <laughs> Dark ones. Well, whatever in hell they are, my order has a motto. If it's hostile, you kill it. Intruder alarm in the vent shaft. They're coming in from above. Shit. Just what we needed. There are wounded here just behind the wall. The whole Kirill, wall. take your group to the tunnels. Alex, Hunter, uh... we must stay here and defend the hall. All right, Artyom, oh, quickly, get a weapon. Where can I... Can I have this one? Okay. Got a little pistol. Damn. They never come this far into this station. It's the hospital. They smell the blood. Have our backs to the wall. Whoa! Remember, it takes forever to reload. We gotta be careful. Is it dead? Oh, Jesus! Oh, God. Holy... We don't have very many bullets! Oh, we don't have very many bullets either! Oh god, oh god. Artyom, are you alright? Barely. Of course. He's a dead eye shot, this one. No dark ones here. Just the usual tunnel trash. Even when you don't see them, the Dark Ones are there. Fear. That's their weapon. That's what made the Nosoluses run through the tunnels like rats. The Dark Ones are not simple mutants. They're Homo Novus, the next step in evolution. You've heard about survival of the fittest? Guess what? We lost. What's happened to you, Alex? You can go like lambs to the slaughter. I'll hang on to whatever life I got with teeth and claws. And I'll take more than a few of your homo novus with me to hell. You think you're some old movie cowboy? Have a look, Hunter. Ten soldiers trained in combat. Their bodies broken, their minds gone. The Dark Ones! They destroyed the outer guard post! <laughs> Everyone's dead, or injured. The devil knows what's happening out there, beyond your perimeter. I must go recon the situation. Listen carefully, Atyom. If I'm not back here by morning, you must get to police station and find a man named Miller. Tell him what's happened to me, and what's stirring in the northern tunnels. Show this to Miller, so he knows I've sent you. I trust everything to you, Artyom. Don't let me down. 
If we are to survive, this threat must be eliminated, no matter the cost. Eliminated. Understand? Hunter did not return. It wouldn't be easy to find an excuse to leave the station and travel to Polis, but I had given my word. I learned that the caravan was heading to Riga the next day and needed guards. I signed on for the ride. So that section just now was a pretty a loose adaptation of the first few chapters in the novels. Basically, Hunter came and he was speaking to our stepfather and we learned a little bit about the stations here. We're all living literally like tunnel rats and there's these indistinct, weird, mutant monsters. Similar to the ones we saw above ground, I would assume. But there's also these things called the Dark Ones. And with the dwindling population, it's becoming a very real possibility that humans are losing out in the evolution race and we might become extinct. Finally! Taking your time as usual, huh? All right, grab your gear, go to the platform, they're waiting for us. I'll meet you there. Hey, Artyom, don't forget anything, huh? Especially because we don't know when we'll be back again. I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> Man. The task of defending our home station from the Dark Ones, enemies horrifying, mysterious and unbeatable, is becoming the sole focus of all our efforts. We've all but forgotten our old enemies, the Nathalases and the Watchmen, the mutants, and if not for Hunter, these beasts would have been unleashed on our hospital. I cringe to think of the carnage that would ensue should Hunter have arrived a mere hour too late. And now, since he hasn't come back, we gotta follow up on our promise with him. Which means we're probably not gonna be back here for a long time once we leave today. <laughs> wow, they have the, the novels here again. And turn off all the lights, save some electricity around here. Sorry, Arta. This part of the station is under temporary lockdown. Only the guards may pass. Okay. Hey, that's some nice music. Hey, uh, where did you get that back on? Got it from a ranger for a ton of ammo. Hey, you're sure you don't regret getting it? Oh, that right over there. The vinyl? There's a vinyl record. I'm sick and tired of this I shit. Too. Why do I put up with it? Blin, Mom told me to keep away from you, that you were no good, and she was right! Relationship problems? No, we might be living underground, but we're also human. How about... Hmm... I know, how about a house where you'd like to live with your mom and dad? Oh, come on. A house? A big one? And when your mom comes back, we'll show it to her and she'll be happy. That's going to be a great surprise for her son. Okay, I'll draw that. Daddy, when is mom going to come back? Soon. Maybe she could see how much you've grown. So when you see a kid like this... Like for me, I'm 20 and there's still doubts if I've ever seen the outside. This kid has definitely never seen the outside. I don't think his mom is coming back. <laughs> no! Oh shit. Dream. <laughs> I dreamt I was on the surface again. Uh, I don't want to hear about your nightmares. We got a good 50 years before we can go topside again. So go back to sleep already. I wish they had subtitles for all these side conversations. comes over and says, Baby, if my wife could cook like you, I'd be the happiest man in the world. So I asked This is the kitchen? Him, Can't your wife cook at all? And he says, Actually, 
I'm not married. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. So go for it, girl. Yeah, why not? Why not? We don't have very much down here in the tunnels, but love. To open or hide your journal, hold M. I have a light. I also have a timer for my gas mask, I think, but I'm not sure how to... I'll figure it out. <laughs> mm, my objectives list is on my little scheduler here. Get to Polis. Find a ranger named Miller. Describe the situation at exhibition. Caravan. Get some equipment at the station's armory. Join caravan. Okay. If I remember correctly, the whole thing with the Dark Ones being around is a relatively new development. And in the books, it's implied that it's actually Artyom's fault. Because he was hanging out with his friends, and then on a dare, he opened some gate that led to the surface. Which is how the Dark Ones managed to come down into the tunnels to begin with. But at the same time, I feel like it's more of a, hey, if Artyom didn't do it, somebody else would've situation. <laughs> Nobody home! <laughs> Someone having fun in there? People are filthy, you know? Liars, Who's that? Traitors, Our Tom, is that you? What? Is everything alright? Oh, there's a girl. Sorry, I'm busy right now. Okay? Sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> is that you, Pete? Can't you open it yourself? No. <laughs> Lost the keys again. <laughs> Old lady in here. Go find the keys. You know I can't get up, idiot. Oh, is there an old lady in here that can't get up? Well, I'm not your son, so. Oh, money. That's money. Hey guys, it's locked. Guess I can't turn off their lamp, huh? Let me get some rest, will ya? Will be my watch soon. Sounds like something's happening up there. Get lost, Archum. Sorry. You notice that everyone knows me by name, though. It's a small community. We're counting on okay, all our citizens to welcome our new allies and to offer them the same respect shown to our home guard. Thank you for your attention. Riga, that's where we're going. Ah, we have some semblance of a bustling marketplace here. Oh, young kid. Hello? Yeah? Not talking aloud. You heard me. And you are Tom should go. You got no business here. Prison is a place for thieves. Not me. Look at that. Everyone knows me by name. I've been caught. To help. I was put in charge of radio somehow. Our hope was to contact the government bunkers or the Urals, but those bunkers were the first to be hit. At first, they didn't directly target civilians, and nobody thought this would be the war that would end it all. Yes, I was monitoring the radio. I picked up a lot of weird stuff in the beginning, too. Weird stuff? Siberia was silent, but the others did transmit, including the strategic nuclear subs. The subs kept waiting for orders. Should we hit them? No one could believe Moscow was not there anymore. Oh. The naval captains wept like kids on the air. The crewmen were begging me to check if their families were among the survivors. But I couldn't do anything. Some of the sub crews decided to get their revenge and went to their launch positions. Others reasoned that since the world was doomed, more killing was pointless. The subs continued to come back on air for a long time. They could stay submerged for half a year at least. Some of them were destroyed, but not all. I still shiver when I remember those days. 
I don't think we know too much about what's going on outside Moscow, do we? Because obviously we don't have things like Wi-Fi or cell reception or anything. Well, I presume not bad at least. Okay. Tell me he's going to be alive. Please. My son's sick. Get off your ass. Could you spare a couple of cartridges? I'll pay you back as soon as I can. Cartridges are our currency here. Two. And I just picked up five, whatever. Thanks, Hatim. I knew I could count on you. Zyrus on? He looks not too good. Look at this. That's a real helmet for not much. Oh, sorry. Everyone's pushing me all over the place. Ah, uh, this is the... Everyone's talking over everyone else. I don't know what to listen to. Mm. Customizing my gun. I don't think we need to do any of this for now, right? Optics, pre-war sight. Hey, can everyone just stop talking for a second? I can't... I can't hear my own thinking. Barrel, silencer... Uh... Lead into more damage fall-off. Uh, let's leave this alone for now. Yeah. It's so noisy here in the marketplace. Food? Jesus Christ. Come on, son. What should I bring for you? If you are a number of Well, sweetheart, come on. What should I bring for you? Get the hell up, you slob. A board and some colored pencils and some sweets. There's nothing to do but to get drunk here. The situation's pretty bad. It's a deep. I don't need you to take your ass home. Be kind to your mom. God, this is a Hey, hey. Who's, who's there? Move it, you white sack. Uh, let me get some rest, really. I'll be my work soon. Oh, sorry. Everyone looks really sad. Ah, uh, you can use your military-grade bullets at exchange kiosks to purchase more ammo for your weapons. The cartridges that we just gave away to the guy earlier. So the interesting thing we have here is that bullets, obviously you can use them to shoot you know, people or monsters, but you can also use them as money here. Military grade bullets. Very important. Ammo? Uh, this is for the assault rifle. Yes. This is for the pistol. We have a pistol. Take your time. It's okay. I guess we'll buy some. Ah, okay. I just bought six. <laughs> is that enough? Six bullets? Uh, hopefully. Hopefully. I'll buy one more. Yeah, 24. Huh, nice deal. Yeah, in terms of upgrading the gun, I'm just gonna leave everything, everything alone for now. Because we haven't even tested out how the gun is. We can't really upgrade it without knowing anything. <laughs> hey. Hello, Arthur. Look, I'll give the book back to you tomorrow, okay? I haven't finished it yet. Don't worry, you can you can keep reading Metro 2035. <laughs> They put a lot of references to the actual books in here. Artyom, where's your gear? Look, go to the armory and get geared up. Is that armory? Yeah, we can get free guns here. So, what do you make of that new guy? He seems completely incompetent. Me? As if you were born a soldier. Anyone can learn anything. No, only if you're cut out for it. If not, you'll be a cleaner or a loader for the rest of your days. Got both hands? Got a head? Here's your gun and go, go, go. Never fear, it's the same old story. I guess because we're kind of in a dire situation right now, all the jobs and stuff have been redistributed. Maybe on the surface, you were a painter or something, but obviously that's a useless profession here, so... You gotta pick up a gun and start fighting. Hello, Artya. You need some weapons? Okay, let's take a look. Submachine gun, 5.45 caliber, made in the armory. It's got poor accuracy and overheats like hell. 
That's why they call it a bastard gun. <laughs> Better than my pistol. Use short bursts, Artyom. Help yourself to some ammo, too. Here's a universal charger to keep the battery powered. For my flashlight? And a gas mask. Put it on if you cross any radiation hot zones. Or, God help you, go up to the surface. Army issue first aid kits, just in case. Thanks. Okay, you're supplied, my friend. Feel free to try out your weapon on my firing range. And uh, you try not to stick out your head too much, okay? Alright, but does trying out my weapon mean that I use up ammo? Because that kind of sucks. Yeah, there's a lot of ammo here. None that we can really pick up. I don't want to waste it if we don't have to. Oh, the one thing uh, about the ammo is that I think right now we're using normal bullets. But if we reload it, we can... Yeah, see? We can also use the military-grade bullets too, which is not good because then we would be using money. We would be firing away money. Those bullets are stronger though, I think. So we might want to use it in certain situations, but certainly not to begin with. I think we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Thank you for the free stuff. Oh, the guy's gone. Do you think one day we could go back up to the surface? I've never seen Moscow, just the old pictures. Moscow's gone. Soon we'll be gone too. And the monsters will inherit the Earth. But there were other subways in St. Petersburg, Minsk, Kiev. People might have survived somewhere else, or at least for a while. But so many years have passed now, and we've heard nothing from them. The other cities didn't have defense rings like Moscow did. What a great city it was, St. Petersburg. The cathedral and the admiralty with its spire. I remember summer nights on Nevsky Avenue, crowds, laughter, kids with ice cream, beautiful slender girls, and music, and the air, sweet enough to drink. What a beautiful world we've destroyed. One of the biggest motivations for living right now, for the old people, is nostalgia. Because they've seen what it's like. The outside, the surface. Hi, how are you, Artyom? Come in, son. You're ready to set off. Good. You've probably heard that our station is creating an alliance with Riga. Yes. We're sending them a couple of rail cars with humanitarian goods, some weapons, and some miscellaneous gear. That's the cargo you'll be looking after. It's not a very long trip, and it should not be too hard. Artyom, you one thing before you go. I can see that you look up to Hunter, but a ranger's life is different than ours. They are reckless, even violent by nature. There's nothing to be gained by playing the hero, so stay clear of trouble. See the caravan to its destination and come home as soon as possible. Goodbye, my boy. Mm, he just wants us to be happy and safe, but we made a promise with Hunter. He doesn't know that we're not coming back, at least not in the short term. No. Oh my god, they really have those ads everywhere for the Metro books. <laughs> it's kind of immersion breaking to be honest. But Hunter arrived at the exhibition just on time. I like to think that was not just blind luck, that it was fate at work. And that it was the same fate that made Hunter choose me to travel to Polis with his report on the Dark Ones. It seems that I've dreamt of visiting Polis, the great, legendary center of the Metro, the center of our civilization, my whole life. But a chance to actually make that dream come true just had to come by now of all times, when my home station desperately heeds every fighter it can feel. Do I have the right to abandon my adopted father, my friends, in an hour of danger? Where is my place? Next to them on the barricades, or at the far stations where Hunter sends me? I don't know for sure, but I still set out on a journey. I'd like to believe that I am summoned by fate. He says he doesn't know, but he's already made a choice by aiding the caravan and going to Riga. For someone like Artyom, who is fairly young and has lived in the tunnels for all his life, 
Like, this kind of chance, it's really tempting for him to take because he's never been outside, so... If he's got a chance, why would he not go outside? If we're not coming back in the short term though, we are abandoning our friends, which is kind of... Probably not the most ideal thing. Oh? Oh! I'm sorry, was that yours? I think I made people upset just now, but... Oh well, at least we got some money. <laughs> yeah, as I understand it, there's a hidden morality system here where you're judged for the things you do. I say hidden because as far as I know, they don't actually make mention of it anywhere. So I'm pretty much just gonna play the way I usually do and we'll see what happens then. Surprisingly, we have animals here. Hi, Artyom. How about the piglet? Stay mighty here. fine that, I must say. I'm holding it all right. I told you to hold it. You guys don't seem like you're doing too much. Oh, this pig looks not healthy. Joining the caravan. Yes. Good luck to you then. Thank you. Are we giving pigs to the... to Riga? We're sending them some supplies. So you're ready to move out? I think so. Are you ready? Well, let's go then. You take that sitar too, and you, Eugene, take this one. Did anybody forget anything? So, uh, you get your gear? Let's go then. Hey guys, going to Riga? Yeah, we are. Can I get a lift? Sure, but no free rides. You'll have to pull the lever sometimes. <laughs> I can do that. Let's go then. I'll ride it then. Good luck to everyone staying home, and to us too. Boy, let's go. Good luck to us. So, are you ready to finally be somewhere else? Whoa! Artyomka! Free at last, huh? Well, for as long as the ride takes, anyway. Should be fun. More dangerous. Even better, right? 